Today is July 16th. Pastor is saying to us, the inward witness. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 16 of the New King James Version. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Our passion for preaching the gospel is one thing that the world can't stand. It troubles them. How can people be so passionate about Jesus, they wonder. But then, they try to wave it off on the premise that people are generally passionate about their religion. What they don't realize is that ours is different, is more than a passion. When comparing Christians with the religious people of the world, Christianity isn't a religion. There are three things to look at. The first is our passion, which can actually be compared with theirs. Then there's also conviction. The religions of the world may have as much conviction as we do, but there's something that we have that they don't have and could never have, the inward witness, hallelujah. We have a witness within our spirit about Jesus. That's what we read in our theme verse. It says, the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. So when we are standing for Jesus Christ, we're not just standing because we are passionate. We're not preaching the gospel just because we are convinced of his message. Rather, it's because we have a witness within our spirit that truly Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by him. John chapter 14, verse 6. We have the witness in our spirit that now are we the sons of God. Deep down in our hearts, we know that we are in fellowship with God and we have the Holy Spirit, and that we are born again. These aren't assumptions, but vital and present our realities in our spirit. We have inside information, knowledge produced in us by the Holy Spirit that we are born of God and forever victorious. We are different. What we have is not a religion. No matter how passionate and convinced people may be about their religion, there's no salvation in any religion. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the only saving message for the world. And thanks be unto God. We are the custodians of this message of power by which God saves, heals, protects, delivers, preserves, and prospers. We are his witnesses. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, thank you for making me a custodian of the gospel of Christ. I pray that many who are yet to receive salvation will hear and receive the gospel today and be instantly transferred from the domain of darkness into the glorious liberty of the sons of God. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read 1 John chapter 5, verse 10 and 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 24, verses 1 to 27. And Psalm chapters 1 to 6. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Galatians chapter 4, verses 21 to 31, and Isaiah chapter 36. Rhapsody of reality.